the thing. No, no. Do it. No. Do it. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, if you're still here then I'm surprised and amazed because it's been so long since I last uploaded a vlog even though they're supposed to be tri-weekly, I think it's been about two weeks now. In my defence, I've got a good excuse. Basically we've arrived in Hanoi which is where we want to live for a couple of months maybe before we move on again and continue travelling. So we've been trying to get a set up, we've been trying to get all different types of things sorted. So we've been trying to get an apartment, she's been looking for work, I've been looking for work online. So basically it's been a busy week, um, which is why I've not really had time to be uploading the vlogs. I've got back into it now, so from this point on, try weekly vlogs again, this time it's a promise. Also, the laptop broke, which is annoying, we got it fixed. Anyway, more about all of this in a couple of weeks. For all these reasons and more, I've been a bit delayed uploading the vlogs. Just been editing today's vlog, and what I've realised is the footage isn't great. Do you know that thing where you meet new people and you sort of feel a bit awkward sticking a camera on yourself because it makes you look like a bit of a big head or sticking a camera on them is even worse. So I didn't vlog at the best moments. I vlogged, I vlogged, I did vlog a lot of footage, but then also there are things like screaming kids. <laughs> Wind, big tea plantation machine noises. Basically, the audio quality is a little bit crap in this vlog. Anyway, this is just me hedging. If you don't like it, then you don't like it, so don't need to say anything else. I'm going to show you now. Let's have a look at what we got up to in the Cameron Highlands. Tell me that's not normal film. Look at the size of that. We woke up this morning at 6 Thursday, got ready, came out and got ready for our tour and it's absolutely pinned it down. Yeah. So let's like, hope it's still enjoyable. And it's like rain like I've never seen in my whole life, proper throwing it down. We are doing a sausage in it, toast, and it tastes sweet. And it's I have to that sauce and it's got sweet sugar. Nothing sacred. Mm -hmm. You can take the girl out of England, but you can't take England out of the girl. Maybe both. Maybe both. Okay. <laughs> okay. How many of you coffee? Okay, still one. Okay. <laughs> so, I can't show you the coffee tree now. Maybe later. If I don't forget it, I'll be showing the coffee tree. Okay. In this tea plantation, they used to plant the coffee, tea, and cardamom. But coffee, they can grow well here, but it's not a good business. The beans are getting smaller. Okay, and cardamom, they can't grow well here. They focus on India. So, tea can grow on any altitude. So they call this is a green gold business. Okay? So we're on the tea tour. This is a big tea plantation we have. And the guy's been told us really interesting facts so far. One of the things he told us was that tea farms don't sink as they do, or they used to. It's not because they're happy, it's because they're scared of tigers that come and basically eat them when there used to be another rainforest up here that had tigers in it. So they actually do it to warn off the tigers. Um, but he also talked a bit of nonsense as well because he tried telling Shiv that the reason she was feeling ill is because she'd been drinking drinking water and not mineral water. Like, come on mate, it's not that, it's winding roads. But anyway, how amazing is this?
Yeah, that'd be good. So this is the tea that the tour guide recommended that we get from uh, this, this shop. It's basically the locally grown tea. And he said to brew it for no longer than one minute. Brew it for one minute, but then no longer than that. Where did you go? Chef, tell them where we're going. Going into the tea factory. Just gone into the tea factory and the smell is unbelievable. Oh my god, it's so strong. I feel like I'm getting high on tea. So basically, I didn't pay much attention, so I'll just give you a brief rundown of how the tea factory produces the tea. It's basically dried, oxidized with hot air passed through it, and then sieve, and then like graded according to particle size. Basically that's it, and then it's packed up and ready to go. And we go through all that just to get a little bag of PG tips. So now we are at the Mount Brinchang, right? Gunung Brinchang, which is known as the highest mountain in Kamen Hala, not in Malaysia. In Malaysia is in Borneo, Mount Kinabalu. Mount Kinabalu is a 4,100 meter you see that way. It's taken like a few days of hiking to what happened. A lot of damage happened to the forest. Yeah, <laughs> look at this. Okay, you are really lucky here. Eh? This forest was been reopened back one year back. What from the tea or? <laughs> <laughs> that was the worst joke ever. Sniffing those uh, flowers. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the most um, fragile sort of forests in the world because it's the mossy forest. And if you touch the moss, it kills it. And the guy was basically sitting out coming out about a guide and they just climb all over the moss and kill it and he basically said that he kicked one of them for doing it. <laughs> the most sort of guide gives people a swift kick for breaking the rules but fair play to him. Just going under a tree <laughs> and we're properly in the clouds right now. Like if you look behind me, I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera but basically behind those trees is nothing but fog and mist and clouds because we're really high up. I can't remember the altitude but there was a sign earlier, so I think it's on there. Um, it was also telling us about some flowers that uh, sort of grow around here that are apparently basically juggy flowers. And if you're sniffing for 20 minutes, you'll get high, and then if you're sniffing for 50 minutes, you'll die. There's the clouds. This is the ginger. <laughs> but don't worry, I didn't kill the plant. <laughs> this is the family of banana. Cut them the fruit. Cut them the fruit. Okay, normally the, this is the old one. Eh? You need to look for the young one. Mm -hmm. Look for the young one. This thing can be it now. This one can. Eat. This one can, now you cannot eat because it's all too, too old. This thing can eat. This one. Mm -hmm. Okay. But when you smell. Oh, that's a really strong smell. You can't see the get a strong smell, but still. A bit. Mm. 
the thing. No, no. Do it. No. Do it. <laughs> For me, it's grinding nicely. Oh, oh have you done it? Maybe my hands are sweaty yeah, but maybe or something. Maybe you, uh, you need to take the fresh ones, I guess. Which one did you get? I took the most, I took the greenest one I saw. So you've tried and grind the tea. Okay. Let's get it on film. First you go like this and screw it all up. It kind of tastes like tea. <laughs> oh, it's kind of working. She can work here. Yeah. <laughs> and for an extra little tidbit on our tour to the strawberry farm. It's, it's not that exciting. <laughs> Just lots of strawberries, but it's okay. It wasn't included in the price, but the tour guide. And um, it's free. Basically, I think he was running out of stuff to say, so he thought he'd take us here as well, which is good. Cameron tours. Are you? Are we supposed? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you picking it? Oh, you're trying to get around. I guess it's a bad job. Yeah, I know I shouldn't. So, we just got some strawberries from the strawberry farm. Fresh strawberries, apparently, they're sweet and sour. Um, in the Cameron Highlands, whereas they're just sweet. What is that reported from China? Let's just see what they taste like. They look really dark coloured in this light. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they look like purple. <laughs> they don't look red anymore. Well, they look they're really nice. Really? Mm. They're not like sweet like the ones at home, though. Oh, fantastic. I'm not allowed to tell you to help them. We can stay in the mm. in Belgium to this noise. Yeah, nice no, yeah. so, that. So we're back now after um, a really good day at the Cameron Highlands tour. We went to a strawberry farm, a tea plantation, the Mossy Forest, and it was all really good. The guide was amazing. He told us everything about all the plants and everything else. It was so fun. Uh, we met some nice people. We had dinner with them this afternoon, and then we're going to go and get some tea and go and meet them at the only bar that they have in the Cameron Highlands but should be fun so I'll see you later. By tea she means dinner by the way because Americans call it dinner. Not what you mean. Oh. Not tea. Uh, we're just getting tea before we go out for drinks later. We're at restaurant Sri Bunta Free Chatham if I can say that and I've just got tandoori set. So we got tandoori chicken, cucumber onions, naan, rice with Spring onions, I think. Dal. Dal. What's that? Dal. Mint. Mint sauce. Chili sauce. Yeah. Let's tuck in. Can't believe I got an omelette when there was curried fish head on the menu. Absolutely got it. Really missed out there. We thought we'd give this weird bar another chance. Hopefully, it'll be a bit busier tonight. Back from the pub, uh, met some nice people. Tomorrow we're going straight to Penang because we feel like we've done most of the things we wanted to do in the Cameron Highlands anyway, uh, even if it was all in one day. We'll see you in the morning and we'll be in Penang.